203, you were partially tuned when I copied you arrived at the cabin. Aerial footage of a moment that Alaskan homesteader Tyson Steele thought might never come. Rescued by a state trooper Hilo team after his cabin burned to the ground during a frigid mid December night in a remote area of the Alaska interior. Northwest of Squintna by about 20 miles. So Anchorage is right about there, right? Um, and uh, Denali uh, may be right, right there. Um, I'm just about 50 miles southwest of Denali. Steele woke to find the roof of his cabin in flames. He grabbed a handful of supplies, but most of his possessions and his dog, Phil, didn't make it. At that point, uh, I, I just I sat down on, on, the, on the ground for a while. Like, just, it was cold, right? I didn't have any socks in my boots, um, and I was just wearing uh, pajamas at that point and a, and a T-shirt. For more than 20 days, Steele survived in a makeshift shelter, using debris from his cabin and what little food he had managed to salvage. Pineapples. I'm allergic to pineapples. But I ate them anyway, because it's what I had. Rationing around 30 days worth of food, he set up an SOS and waited. Waited to hear those propellers in the distance. Honestly, I, um, I was grateful that all my bullets blew up, because that could have been a temptation to be like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it. I put myself out. Right. That's. Uh, it's a very real thought that that crept up almost daily, especially real cold nights. But even after the fight of his life, Steele isn't done with Alaska. He plans to return and rebuild. Two cabins, in case one burns down. <laughs> uh. I cannot even imagine. And he can laugh after all of that. Ugh. In a statement to Alaska State Troopers, still also said that he would be returning home to his family here in Salt Lake City. He doesn't even consider himself as an outdoorsman, but his upbringing and hobbies gave him plenty of valuable experience. And